Yes. Started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it clinical examination station, kindly please begin. I will enter the room. I will wash my hands. Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Faisan. I'm one of the surgical doctors. Uh, may I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, I'm uh, Timothy, 23 years old. Nice to meet you, uh, Miss. Uh, I didn't get the name. So. Okay, Tim, Timothy. And Timothy? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, today I've been asked to examine your shoulder. Uh, this will involve me looking at your shoulders, then uh, feeling your shoulders, and also doing them some special tests. Uh, is that okay with you? Yes. Yes. Would you like uh, a chaperone uh, with uh, with you during the examination? No, you don't need chaperone for this station. Please okay. in instruct the patient how the patient would be positioned and. What exposure do you need, please? Yes. Uh, uh, I will have to ask you to expose both of your shoulders. Uh, you can keep your undergarments on. Very good. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I will um, uh, do the examination in standing position. Standing position. Very good. Yes. So you'll say, uh, do you have any the patient keep standing while you're yes taking off your... Yes, continue, please. Yes, I will. Uh, do you have any pain uh, in your shoulders before we yes. proceed? Yes, yes. It becomes more... Okay, uh, I'll try to be there. Yes, okay. Do you want Do you want any painkillers before we, I examine you? No, that's fine. I'm good. That's great. Okay, so I'll uh, make the patient stand uh, and I will start the inspection uh, from yes. the front. I will inspect the level of both the shoulders, any de any deformities, any scars, uh, any uh, muscle wasting from the front uh, sides. Uh, also, I will inspect the for any muscle wasting uh, deformity. And from behind, I will uh, assess uh, for uh, deltoid, the trapezius, the deltoid, the, the any muscle wasting. I will uh, inspect the scapula. Uh, I will uh, see for any scoliosis. Then I will ask the patient, uh, can you please put your hand forward on the wall and uh, press against the wall for me? And I will uh, look for any uh, winging of the scapula. Yes, you'll demonstrate then, it to the patient and then you'll ask the patient to do it like that. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, then I will proceed to palpation. Uh, I will tell the patient now I'm going to feel uh, your, your shoulders. Uh, yes. And I'll start palpating, uh, for, uh, check for the uh, local rise of temperature. With the back of my hand, I will check yes. for uh, ten tenderness. I will start palpating in the middle of the clavicle and proceed uh, to the medial uh, sternoclavicular joint. Then I will go laterally and I will feel the lateral end of the clavicle, the coracoid process, uh, the uh, acromion process. Then yes. uh, I will feel the height of the humerus, the greater tuberosity of the humerus, yes. and the bicipital groove. And I will then go uh, posteriorly and I will feel the spine of the scapula and the borders of the scapula. Okay. Uh, then I will tell the patient, now I'm going to assess your movement. Uh, can you please uh, do as I tell you? And okay. I will uh, do passive uh, movements, uh, sorry, active movements by the uh, by the patient. Uh, I will tell the patient to uh, lift the arm uh, upwards as far as she, uh, she can. Yes. Uh, and then um, I, I ask the, uh, the patient to extend the arm uh, backwards uh, as far as she can. Yes. This is for flexion and extension. Then yes. for abduction, I will ask the patient to lift the arm uh, to uh, upwards uh, sideways 
as far as she can. Uh, yes. And for adduction, I will ask the patient to uh, keep the arm on the opposite shoulder. Yes. Uh, hand on the opposite shoulder. Then uh, I will ask the patient to keep uh, the elbows tucked in to, uh, on uh, with the sides of the body. And uh, then I will ask the patient to uh, rotate the arm outwards uh, for external rotation. And for internal rotation, I will ask the patient to uh, touch the back uh, as uh, as high as possible uh, with the back of uh, her hand, both the sides. Okay. Uh, these are the pa passive movements. After this, I will, uh, sorry, active movements. After this, I will do the passive movements. Uh, I will uh, hold the patient's hand and uh, do all the passive movements uh, one by one. And I will simultaneously feed for any uh, crepitus uh, in the joints. Right. Uh, then I will uh, proceed to, uh, I will also do the scapula uh, scapular movements, I will uh, abduct the arm uh, as high as possible and I will uh, feel for the movement occurring at the scapula on both the sides. Then uh, I will uh, go for the special test. I will test for the uh, rotator cuff muscles. I will do uh, the empty can test. I will ab abduct the uh, arm to 30 degrees and flex to 30 degrees with the thumb pointing downwards. I'll ask the patient to uh, push the hand, uh, resist me from pushing the hands down. Uh, this is for the supraspinatus. For the infraspinatus and uh, uh, infraspinatus, I will ask the patient to do uh, external rotation against resistance. Uh, can, uh, then uh, for the uh, subscapularis, I will ask the patient to keep the hand back on, on her back and then push it uh, backwards against my hand. Uh, then for the uh, uh, teres minor, I will ask the patient to abduct the arm to 90 degrees and then uh, externally rotate uh, against resistance. Uh, uh, this uh, These are the rotator cuff muscles. After that, I will do the uh, test for impingement. Uh, I will uh, uh, flex the patient's uh, arm to uh, 90 degrees and... Uh, with the thumb pointing okay. downwards, and I will. Uh, Can you please summarize your examination now? Yes, uh, I have examined a twenty-three-year-old uh, female patient who presented yes. with complaint of pain in both the shoulders. On general uh, inspection, there was uh, uh, no visible uh, deformity, no uh, muscle wasting, yes. uh, uh, and uh, there was no uh, what do you call winging of sp uh, scapula. Uh, and on palpation, uh, there was. Uh, uh, no local rise of temperature. Uh, okay. There was no tenderness. Yes. Yes. Uh, on the uh, movements, the patient had uh, uh, painful uh, uh, abduction. Yes. Painful arc from 60 yes. to 120 degrees. Yes. And the patient had uh, limited abduction. Yes. Uh, and uh, other movements. Uh, all right. Yes. Are all right. Uh, uh, then, uh, if time would have allowed you, how would you have completed your examination? Yes, if time would have allowed me, I will do uh, uh, the test for done, AC joint. Yes. Yes. I would have done test for AC joint, including the scarf's test and cross arm adduction test. And I will also examine the C spine, uh, cervical spine, and elbow. Yes. Uh, and, and also uh, upper limb uh, neurovascular examination. Complete, yes. Neurovascular examination of the Can you please tell me, yes, uh, what management would you advise to this patient? Yes, uh, first uh, I would uh, advise the patient to avoid uh, overhead activities. I will okay. advise the patient, uh, patient uh, painkillers. Professional swimmer, she cannot live without swimming. So, what would be the advice to the patient? Uh, I will advise the patient to stop uh, swimming uh, till the For pain comes long? down. Okay. Uh, For how duration, long would that be? Uh, three months. I'm not sure, ma'am. Okay. Uh, then I will add, uh, start the patient on uh, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay. And I will advise the patient, uh, physiotherapy. Yes. Uh, including uh, shoulder strengthening exercises. Uh, and uh, uh, if all these uh, don't work, then uh, I will. Uh, we can uh, proceed with uh, uh, subacromial uh, steroid injection. Okay. 
and uh, if even uh, that fails then uh, maybe a subacromial uh, decompression which can be open or arthroscopic all right okay can you tell me what's the different difference between physiotherapy and occupational therapy which one would you recommend or which one should you recommend uh, yes uh, i will uh, physiotherapy uh, occupational therapy is related to the occupation of the patient in this case the patient the swimmer so uh, i think uh, it is uh, uh, better to advise the patient uh, for occupational therapy as well as physiotherapy occupational therapy you'll advise okay okay right good because you yourself saying that patient is a swimmer so it's it's profession anyone who has knowledge of the profession would be in a more better position to advise the patient how to return back to his or her job right so that's what the that's what our aim is uh, right uh, about your about your examination it was very good very confidently you have examined the patient in this case, uh, the patient had complaint in both shoulders. Just imagine if a patient comes with the complaint in one shoulder and when you have to do the passive movement, from which side would you begin? Uh, if the patient has on only on one side, yes. then uh, I will do the normal side first. Uh, okay, good. Yes. It's always better uh, to do the passive movement from the healthy side. First. All right. Okay. You did very nicely when you inspected the patient. You did it very correctly. For palpation, when once you uh, felt for the temperature and tenderness, it would have been better if you would have done uh, or taken the radial and the brachial pulse at the same time. So this you oh. can note and make it your habit. Uh, movements it was very nicely and very confidently done with the active and you've done it very nicely you felt all the flexion extension abduction adduction internal and external rotation and even feel for the crappy test okay first active then passive uh, very great yes. you did the all the special tests which are required uh, at the end, uh, yes, I made you answer uh, because it was the neurological examination, both sensory and motor, which was left yes. uh, of the auxiliary nerve and then the motor examination of the long thoracic nerve. Uh, that would have been part of it. Okay. Right, good. Patient, all examination you'll do with patient standing. And examiner, uh, when you'll be moving to the back, I would request you to tell the patient before you go and inspect the patient from the back that, okay, I've examined you or I've observed you from the front. Now I'll, I will be moving behind just to look at your uh, shoulders from the back. So the patient, you are just kind of, it's kind of, you are alerting okay. the patient that why you are moving at the back to examine the patient at the, from the back. Okay. Yes, okay. that's all. These are the small, small, small things that if you'll practice a lot, you'll remember that you have to keep them in your mind. Okay. Yes, good. Thank you. Thank you.